Do you ever struggle to find just the perfect sound or music bite for a project you're working on? I'm Joel Sutton, this is Gerbil Tech Tips, and I'm gonna show you how to make amazing music that's free right here on your Mac with GarageBand. When you open GarageBand, it asks what project you wanna start with. We're gonna just gonna hit empty project for today. And to keep things simple, we're gonna ignore all the options and just choose this microphone. Now this brings up the GarageBand window. You can play your tune by pressing the space bar, but we don't have a tune yet, so let's make one. To get rid of that annoying click sound, turn off the metronome and the counter, these two blue buttons right here. Next, we're going to go to the Loops browser. Now the Loops browser is the first icon here, and this is a collection of pre-recorded or developed sounds that Apple provides. You can download tens of thousands of these in all manner, including voices, instruments, and sound effects. Now to build our song, simply find one you like. You can search for it or sort by instrument here. I actually want to find a drum kit I like called Acoustic Layers. Now here it is. I can play one by tapping on it. Or I can add it to my song by clicking, dragging, and dropping it into the timeline. When you do that, you'll notice that the first track now says the name of your loop, and you can loop it by clicking the top right corner and dragging it out as far as you want. This now is looped eight measures. If you're a musician, you know what that means. Otherwise, you can change your clock in the top to time, and we can see that that is approximately 22 seconds. I'm gonna go back to beats and project here. Next, I want to add some music, some vibes to it. I'm a percussionist and I really dig vibes, but uh oh, they're not there because I've sorted this to be only beats. So I'm going to cancel the sort and I'm going to then search again. Vibes. In this case, here's my lounge vibes. You can see I have a number of them, but I'm going to pull in one I've already screened and I'm going to loop it once, but again, by clicking the top right corner and dragging it out. Then I'm going to find the next loop of vibes and I'm going to play it once then I'm going to go back to my original so you can see how we can mix and match this all right now this is starting to sound pretty groovy but what we're missing is a bass so I'm going to cancel our search and I'm going to go search for a bass rhythm that I've already discovered and like it's called Island Reggae Bass 6. I'm going to pick it up, drag it, and drop it into my timeline and loop it for the duration of my song. Let's hear that. Now, I noticed that the drums are a little loud. So on the drum track, I'm going to pull that volume down a little bit, and I'm going to pull up my bass just a touch. Let's hear it again. Maybe the bass is too high, I don't know. You can adjust it however you want. Now when you're ready to save this, go to the share menu and choose export song to disc. This way you can transfer it to any other app or send it to another person. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you'd like to learn about and I'll try my best to help you. Thanks for watching, bye bye.